everyone, this is Trisha Thompson from Gluten-Free Watchdog. Today I'm hoping to put Park Chameleon into context by utilizing some visual aids. Those of you who subscribe to Gluten-Free Watchdog often read or hear me say that it's really important to not only think about the part per million of a product, but the amount of the product that you actually eat, because that's the only way that you're going to know the actual milligram amount of gluten that you're eating. So I have measured out one ounce or a little over 28 gram amounts of a few products. And if we assume that each of these products contains 20 parts per million, then each of these one ounce amounts will contain a little over one half of a milligram of gluten. Okay. So what I'm about to show you, this is the amount that you would have to eat in order to take in a little over one half milligram of gluten if these products contained 20 parts per million. So this is the amount of a breakfast cereal you would have to eat if this contained 20 parts per million of gluten. This is the amount of pasta you would have to eat if this pasta contained 20 parts per million to get a little over half a milligram of gluten. This is the amount of cornmeal that you would have to eat if it contained 20 parts per million to take in a little over half a milligram of gluten. And now these are the two important ones because sometimes at Gluten-Free Watchdog we test spices and we test over-the-counter medications. And I'm always saying to people, the part per million amount may look scary to you, but please keep in mind the amount that you use in a typical meal or a typical dose of that medication. So this is a spice, okay? This is one ounce of a spice. If it contained 20 parts per million gluten, this is the amount you would have to use in order to ingest a little over half a milligram of gluten. That's pretty tough to do. Um, this is far more of a spice than you would use in a recipe. Unless it's curry and you're me and I tend to dump a lot of curry powder in. Um, but for the most part, you're using very, very small amounts of spices. And this is really important because those of you who are subscribers know that we've had a couple over-the-counter medications that have tested at or above 20 parts per million of gluten. Now the medication that I'm going to show you, this is not one of the medications that test, has tested high for those of you who recognize this medication. I'm just using this as a visual aid. So this is an ounce of a popular over-the-counter medication. This is far more than you would take in a day. If you, if you took this amount in a day, you'd be very, very sick. So you have to consider when you see a part per million amount, the dosage of that medication or the amount of spice that you might use. Now this is not to say that if a product is labeled gluten-free, that it is okay for that product to contain at or above 20 parts per million. It is not. But most spices are not labeled gluten-free, and most over-the-counter medications are not labeled gluten-free. And sometimes if we find relatively small levels of gluten in products, it causes a lot of anxiety among some consumers. But again, you have to keep everything in context. So let me just state this again. If a product contains 20 parts per million, that is 0.002% of that product. The part per million amount is not 
a, a distinct amount. It's, it's a proportion. So the only way to know how much gluten you are taking in is to know the weight amount of the food that you're eating, and then you can figure it out. So a one ounce or 28 gram serving size, that's 20 parts per million, again, it's 0 0.57 milligrams of gluten. If that product tests at 40 parts per million, you just multiply that 0 0.57 by 2. So every time you go up in an increment of 20, you multiply the appropriate number. So if it's 60 parts per million, then you would multiply that 0 0.57 by 3. At least this is how I figure it out, and I know we all approach math very differently and you may have your own uh, way of approaching this. I hope this has been helpful. If there's other products that you would like me to measure, um, please feel free to ask or if you'd like me to explain this in, in greater detail or get down in my kitchen and actually show you how I go about weighing these products. Um, anything to help. Thank you so much.